Hello folks, today I wanted to show you a quick tutorial on how to use the new service called Google Meets, or you might have also heard it as Google Hangouts Meets. So quick, just to clarify, I want to explain the difference. Google Hangouts was the consumer product released with Google Plus earlier in the decade, closer to 2010. It was a messaging service, and it also had video call-in and group chat built in. It was one of the first chats and services that did group video chat and it also was the initial thing for YouTube Live. That said, Google Hangouts is being discontinued re soon this year, so as much as you still see the original Google Hangouts icon occasionally, it's no longer what you're using. Google Hangouts Meets, or in other words Google Meet, is a new service that is designed for businesses and educational organizations in general. It's for video conferencing still. They essentially took the best of Google Hangouts and upgraded it and combined it together, added a bit of touch similar to services like Zoom. So it's very much a new service and separate. It's video conferencing focused towards business and education. So as such, let's dive right in. Okay, so to get started, you're going to open up your browser of choice, whether that be Firefox, Google Chrome, or Microsoft Edge. And when you get into your browser, go to Google. And once you're in Google, you're going to go to your nine dots or your Google app drawer. And in here, you're looking for this icon that is a little quote with a camera in the middle, and it says meet. Now, just to show you, if you scroll down, this is what the original Hangouts application is. It's a lighter, limeier color green, and it has quotes in the little bubble. You're looking for the one that's more of an evergreen color, and it has a camera in the bubble, and it says Meet. So make sure you're going to Meet here. And you can just click that. And this is what Google Meet looks like. So you have Meet in the top corner, you have your time, your date, a little bit of a artwork in the background and it says the source in the bottom corner and then join a meeting in the middle and a couple icons on the top it's fairly simple bare bones so this little graph icon is a troubleshooting page you can go to if you need help the little bubble with exclamation is something you might recognize from classroom that is your report a problem or make a suggestion bubble and if you click the settings icon this is where you're allowed to set up your microphone and your camera. So when you go through this you're gonna go through and pick which microphone you need and which camera you need and that's how you set it up just like your audio and video settings in Zoom. Once you're ready you're just gonna go down here and click join or start a meeting. Just to clarify if it says only join a meeting that means you're using your personal Gmail Google account rather than your educational domain account. So Google Meet, the way it's set up, anyone can join with any account or without an account, but to create a meeting or start a meeting, you have to be a business user or an educational user with an email that's at their domain. So with your education account, you're going to click join or start a meeting, and we're going to just go test meeting and hit continue. So this is your nickname. That's also where you can enter your meeting ID if you want to join one. And when you get here, you're going to see a picture where it's showing yourself. And it'll also have the mic so you can test out before you join. And then you have the options to join or present right away. I would just join. <laughs> And when you open up the join, it's going to give you this little box where you can see all the information. So you have your meet-in pin, you have your dial-in number if someone wants to call from a phone, and you also have your Google Meet link. I find I have trouble with the pins, but the Google Meet link works excellent. So that's a way to do it if you need to join and send it. You can just email that to people. You can also add people by clicking the add button and just type in their emails or just find their names in the list. And you can also add phone numbers to call. So when I close out of that, this is the interface for Google Meet. It is very similar to Zoom with just a couple of UI differences. So bottom corner, if you click the up arrow, it gives you the information and also shows you attachments if there was attachments on the Google Calendar event. You have a toggle for your microphone to go on and off, and you also have a toggle for your camera 
to go on and off. And you also have a leave call button. There's this closed caption instance where it's designed to use Google's AI similar to the voice keyboards on Android and iPhone and it'll record your messages and be able to transcribe them into text for you. It'll also be able to differentiate between two different people so you'll get a really good conversation recorded in that way if you need closed captioning. Another one is present now and this is actually exactly the same as Zoom so when you click it you're gonna get a window or an entire screen button. If you click window you get the little Chrome dialog to pick which window you want or if you click entire screen you'll get to pick which screen you want and when you click it it'll look like this you'll get the stop sharing button like normal with zoom and it'll say you're presenting to everyone now you don't see your screen but everyone else does you can hit stop presenting then if you want and the nice feature about this is you can actually have multiple people showing screens at once so everyone else will show up on the right side and if someone's presenting their screen will show up under their picture so you can have two people screen sharing at the same time almost a good way to do a tutorial or a walkthrough now in the bottom menu here if you click that you have help and report a problem again showing up here join phone for audio so this is a way to use a phone for your microphone if your laptop doesn't have a good mic and your headphones are broken you can actually connect your phone and use your phone for the audio on the call that's on your computer so that's what this is very useful feature settings is just to change your audio and visual settings just like we did initially then you get a turn on captions button full screen and change layout lets you change kind of what the look of it is so they have an auto where it'll change depending on what's happening but you can also force it to do spotlight which is similar to zoom speaker mode sidebar which would put you in the middle and then put a bunch of people on the side and I think you can choose which one will be in the middle so if you click someone they'll go into the bigger screen and tiled which is kind of the standard zoom approach where it's all scattered across the screen evenly lastly if you look at the top there is a participants button so you can see who's in the chat and you'll have options when there's other people in here you can also add people from here and then you have a chat button you can click and this is where you can type a chat and say hello everyone and it'll show up just like zoom and the chat button doubles here and then you can also pin people so I believe this is only a host feature but I haven't had a chance to test it out but if you click on someone either you up here or in the list if you click on someone you'll give them a pin I believe this pins them to everyone else's screen as a spotlight so that's a way to kind of force the presentation or force yourself to stay forward so if someone uses that feature and figures out it's something different let me know I'll be happy to put a comment on here but that's my understanding of that so far so that's the basics of Google Meet and you can just leave like that and return to home screen now it's good to note that there are a very good app for the phones on Android and iPhone that allow you to join Google Meets and also view Google Meets that are scheduled with a calendar you can also use um, the web browser on your phone and the web browser here of course to join Google Meets and use Google Meets it's a very versatile that way it's fully web based also if you go to classroom you can create a classroom meet and you can also create Google Meets in calendar events I'm gonna show those in a separate video just for time's sake but in terms of the basics of using Google Meet this is what you see here so it's meet.google.com or you can go to the nine dots in the corner or you can use the web app for your phone if you download it from the App Store or the um, Play Store so I hope this helps get you started testing out Google Meet. Play around, let me know features you find, let me know any questions you have or anything you want me to cover. Um, if you want to see more, just subscribe. I'm adding them to my playlist as we go this week as I wanted to help teachers who are having trouble or needing tutorials for this stuff. So let me know how it works and happy teaching.